FM News Talk 97.1 Podcast. All right, uh, welcome back to the show. Our guest uh, right now is uh, John C. Goodman. He's a senior fellow at the Independent Institute and president of the Goodman Institute for Public Policy Research. He's got a number of books out there, including A Better Choice, Healthcare Solutions for America. Mr. Goodman, how are you? I'm wonderful. Glad to be with you. I, I should have said Dr. Goodman. I apologize for that, but... Um, Oh, just just call me John, please. <laughs> All right, John. Uh, I, I appreciate you giving us some time today at sort of a last-minute request, but there's a lot of debate about this EpiPen controversy and the cost going up, and um, I, I'm not an expert on, on why this happened or how, but uh, people are outraged by it. What can you tell us about it? Well, uh, as is the case so often in health care, the, the root of the problem is bad government policy. Okay. And unfortunately, government regulations. Uh, this is a generic drug. Generic drug should be cheap. It's a basic delivery device, which is just a needle, basically, and that should be cheap. Uh, a doctor in his office can get uh, uh, this epinephrine, which is the, the drug, for uh, for about two dollars and fifty cents, and. For two syringes, they cost three dollars a piece. Uh, so, so a doc- if allowed by law, I mean, doctors could deliver this in their own office. But in many states, they're not allowed. And so, we have one monopoly pharmaceutical firm out there who obtained the rights uh, to this product. Uh, other firms tried to compete with it, but the FDA heaped, you know, regulations on them, drove them from the market. So now we have a government-created monopoly. And when you're a monopolist, the of is to charge a monopoly price, which is five or six hundred dollars. So, so clearly, there's demand for this product. Why, why would uh, the government think it's in anybody's best interest to only allow one company to produce this? Um, by the way, we didn't say this is for allergic reactions, uh, mainly in children, and uh, this is to stem the allergic reaction. So, it, it's uh, it's not an uncommon problem. Uh, and the solution should not be expensive. And the FDA doesn't go out with the intent of creating monopoly. The FDA just uh, uh, creates regulatory barriers because that's what they do. <laughs> and um, if and, uh, unless they're uh, 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 called out, unless, unless they're, they're publicly uh, chastised for this behavior, they'll keep on doing it. So they there are quite a few generic drugs out there that are they're costing way more than they should because there's only one firm supplying them and the only reason that's happening is because of too much regulation right well i i brought up the example and i don't know if you if you've studied it or remember it of um of hillary clinton and the vaccine debacle back in the early 90s yes uh you have to remind me <laughs> well i mean she basically they um they they passed a law uh th- that called the the vaccines for children program and they wanted to use the power of the federal government to ensure universal immunization. So the government forced the vaccine manufacturers to get, to sell them 35 or 40 percent of all of the supply at, at half price. And then they distributed it to doctors and to the poor and the underinsured. And, and several vaccine makers basically left the market over it. Yes, yes, I do remember that. So it's a good example uh, of, of the government sticking its nose in, in in situations that aren't in the best interest of the free market. People like Hillary Clinton don't understand that it's in our self-interest to have uh, people on the supply side of the market competing to meet our needs. And if you want them to compete to meet our needs, you need to leave them free to do that. And so if you want children to be vaccinated, people need to find that it's profitable to provide the vaccine. And um, uh, basically, the Hillary Clintons of this world do not understand ordinary economics. So what is the what is the answer to this EpiPen situation? I mean, there's a lot of people, a lot of uh, outrage with Congress uh, claiming that they need to do something to force this cost down. And this is just a company completely taking advantage of the public. Well, there were two other pharmaceutical companies, Sanofi and Teva. And they both were trying to enter this market, and they got blocked by FDA regulations. So what the FDA ought to be doing is encouraging other pharmaceutical firms to go 
go into the market and compete. And if we get competition, uh, this device will sell for uh, only a few dollars instead of five or six hundred dollars. And we also need to free the doctors. Let let doctors provide uh, the service in their own offices. I mean, that'll be cheaper than. Uh, the price that uh, this company is now asking. Well, that's probably true, but I'm, I mean, I'm guessing since it's uh, for your, if your kid gets a bee sting, it's convenient to have one of these in your purse, but you right now you're paying for the cost of that convenience because of federal government regulation. Uh, the doctor should be able to supply the drug plus a needle <laughs> and, you know, you know, diabetics and, 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 and other people medicate themselves. There's no reason why parents can't do this. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's an excellent point. Uh, Dr. Goodman, I appreciate your time. We're talking to, again to John Goodman from the Independent Institute and president of the Goodman Institute for Public Policy Research. Thank you so much for putting that in context for us. Glad to be with you. Yep. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Um, how about that? $2.50 if a doctor has to get a, a, th- this medicine in his office. Then you just need a needle and a delivery system, right? So like five bucks total, including the needle and everything. Yeah, and there could I be mean, other. Maybe I'm wrong, there could but. be other companies involved, but according to him, the regulators, the FDA, wouldn't approve them to sell the product. So you're down to one.